Hello everyone, new guy here, back with the next episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. Now, previously we've saved the uh, the poor gnome that was stuck on this windmill. And now, we should be free to loot... Well, there's nothing to loot. So, let us quickly go through what's over here. And, and just... Loot the area just a little bit. Let me put a timer because uh, although last week was a special edition, a special episode, pers it's, if you want to call it. This week uh, we want to speak. Speak? I can't speak. Look. My speaking skills. Uh, I just probably rolled a one. So we want to stick to our normal game length, uh, episode length, if you want to call it. Now, uh, last episode, uh, I've, I've made a huge mistake and uh, almost uh, got our uh, party in a difficult position. But this time, oh, hey, 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 leave the sheep alone. But this time around, there's not many, um, how should I put it? Not many combat that I will be doing. There, there shouldn't be any. I don't want that large stick. Large bottle. It's not a large stick. Let us check the cellar. Uh, that gnome talked about some cellar. Uh, also, let's release the brake. There we go. And since there is no one, this windmill should work just fine. Alright. Now let's explore this area really quick. There might be some good stuff over here. I should have perception now, don't I? Do I not have perception? Pro proficiency with skills. Uh, perception zero. Oof. I, although I do have insight, I have no perception so i might as well just you know stick to the other guys that have perception okay now again last week was a tricky episode well not the episode itself but the um do we have any shovels we do have shovels the positioning i made put me in a in a weird spot and i had to <laughs> recover from that ooh what is this speedy sparks when the word dashes or takes a similar action during combat they gain three lightning charges it's a medium armor so medium armors should probably go to no time to dally this guy can he wear medium armor oh no he's not proficient that's bad Guess it's gonna be Lazel with sparkling, uh, sparkling shoes. Okay, smoke powder satchel. I think we might need this later down the line, but right now I think we're pretty okay with loading this area. Yep, perfect. Let's get out. Let's explore just a teeny tiny bit more, and then I think we could go to the camp. The, the problem with last week's, um, I, I'm just going to clarify that and then call it, because let's not stick too much to the past. The problem with the last week's uh, positioning was, I don't know, something bugged out is, is what, I, what my assumption is. And because of that, I basically got caught, I got, you know, had to roll initiative and, you know, you know, the rest of it. All right, so by the way, I should have two pieces of the... Do I not have the, both the pieces? Yeah, I do have the broken spear. And why, why is Astraea on the side? Anyways, the broken spear and the spearhead. So I should be able to craft it. Let me... Oh, I know I didn't want those. Let's see the journal. 
The pupil surpasses the teacher. <laughs> I, I, again, I'm not going to read all this. <clears throat> I My uh, reading under stress skills is uh, relatively uh, improvable. The date on this letter has faded with the time. With time. See? There you go. I added the without it existing there with time. But the paper alone indicates Greek age. My fellow citizens. For fellow citizens we are, like it or not. And, you know, the rest of it is what it is. And it's written by Damon Briska. Proud and free citizen of Heartlands. Uh, is, is there Heartlands <clears throat> on the map? No clue. Haven't really, uh, checked the, the minute details of Toril. Might be asking, what, Toril? I thought we were playing in Faerun. Indeed, we are playing in Faerun. But Toril is the planet. Faerun is kind of like the continent. Like you could call it the continent. It's, you know, the western part of the northern landmass, you might call it. All right, time to do the doable. Oh, no, I'm encumbered. You know what, Lazel? Put this on. Hey. I said put it on. Perfect. Now you look look like a buffoon. Hey, don't filter. Filtered inventory. My rear. To keep a PG language. Alright, we've got a spear. Is this throwable? It is throwable. I could use it in combat. If I have, you know, the... What's it called? The space? Not, not the space, the weight capacity. I should be able to use it as a throwable. Wait, why can't I interact with this? Uh, what's wrong with the anvil? All right, well, now there is this area over here that I could explore. And I should, you know what, I should. I did loot these guys. Let me just quickly check these stuff. Did I, uh, faded instructions, faded blueprints, and the pipe. Let's not forget the pipe. Pipe or pipe -o. If you get that reference, uh, let's drop a quick save. And watch <laughs> Astarian float away. I've not used this path in the past, but I... Don't assume there to be anything of interest. You will, however, like this part. Uh, let's just, you know, quickly, uh... Um, let's just... Alright, we did drop a quick save, so let us check out what's happening As you here. approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, a low moan. Someone, or something... Is having a bit of fun. Hello, anybody there? Um. <laughs> All right, let's open the door. It's funny. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight. Fair enough. I'll do as Shadowheart says. I, I've i noticed that, like, last episode, I seemed like a murder hobo. Now, it's not necessarily a murder hobo, per se, but we're talking about members of a specific group that worship the... Uh, currently apparent enemy because uh, I'm not um, not sure if uh, we are aware of a different enemy right now but the uh, the absolute fit for an ogre mm. nice dagger a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough leathery meat let's 
let's see if we can pick it up. We were able to. You notice the blade is at an angle to the meat's grain. If you align the dagger with the grain, it should slip out easily. Thanks to your keen eye, the dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Yoink. <laughs> Alright, what dagger is this? It's a an uncommon magical weapon. Now, what's magical about it? It's a plus one. Um, it's a three to eight. This one is four to seven. The lowest damage is better, so I might as well give it to him. It's also finesse, so I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. There we go. Now we have decent uh, equipment in our inventory. A roasted meat. Mystery meat, tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Fair enough, we can't pick it up. Okay. As as uh, as I was saying, the um, in a, again again. See, I I didn't even realize, and I was talking. But yet, I still started talking about the previous episode again. But it is it is the it is the case. I was I wanted to. Highlight that I'm not necessarily a murder hobo, but I'm not going to keep any goblins alive just so that once I raid their camp, I have more people to, you know, kill at the same time. If I can pick them out one by one, what's the point of, you know, everything? what's the point of uh, having to make things difficult for me? So that's, that's pro pretty much the reasoning behind me. Uh, making sure. Ooh, ooh, curious book. I wanted to read that oil lamp. Let us read the description of the oil lamp because that's funny. An ordinary lamp, not a trace of magic on it. You double click it. The sides of this brass lamp are shinier than the rest, as if they've been repeatedly rubbed. I wonder why. All right, let's read the curious Wine. book. A reader with decadent tastes, perhaps. Okay, so it's a maybe, book, bit of a, drinking problem. a book with a hidden compartment. Interesting. All right, now we could go further down here, right? We could jump over here, but right now I think I might have a better chance. Okay, is there something I can do with this rock? I might have a better chance to go and check out what Auntie Ethel has to say. But actually, before that, I think this episode we should go back to the town, to, uh, to Grove City. And also sell our stuff. So many wines. Gonna have to... Um, all right, can't I, um, oh, I didn't learn spells. Let me learn spells really quick. Those are prepared spells. Let me learn eight. Got the money for it. Let's see, prepared spells. I am wondering, heat metal wasn't really helpful to us. So I'm thinking, nah, I'll keep heat metal. Okie dokie, uh, still encumbered, I see. I should stop picking up every pot and uh, kettle. Whatever you want to call those. <clears throat> so, uh, let me just quickly go... Oh, what was that? Is that something of value? It is not something of value. By the way, deep down that mm. well, there are some horrors that I'd recommend you'd stay away from. The rest of the town, I'll uh, see if I should, if I can uh, loot myself. There's no point in, you know, looting bits and bobs. But I think we should check out this shabby wooden door area. This looks like an apothecary, all sorts of potions and lotions. I could check stuff, but let us first go to the grove real quick. 
and empty our pockets. We were kind of heavy on the pocket department. And do we have... Oh, we do have short rests. Interesting. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. I, uh, I swear, Lazel, like you, you, you just trying to put yourself in the center of attention. No one cares about you. Like, seriously, I know you're exotic. You're Githyanki. Like, who cares? Seriously, who cares? Like. If I had to choose you, if I had the option to choose between you and another melee class, unless the other melee class is worse than you, I'd probably go on for the other else? melee class. Of course, but please remember. I mean, th let's not, not just say melee it. class. Like, we need. Uh, oof, that's uh, expensive. All right, this guy likes us. So I'll sell him the lamp. Does he have money left? He doesn't have money left. Oh no. Look at his stuff. Yeah, so all this stuff I've sold during the, you know, background playthrough, if I may. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to buy anything from so this guy be with you. before a long rest. And I think um, since we are low on spell slots at least uh i am shadow hearts uh pretty uh full on spell slots that's because your your um domain might i say is rather useless i mean sure you know you might be able to play cleric with other classes interesting uh other um uh paths and you know interesting Looking options but I have, well, who, something close. in a party of, you know, non-healers, is going to choose a cleric and say, Hmm, you know what would be good with this cleric? Give this cleric the skills of, uh, of uh, a thief. Because that's exactly what, what I want to do. Give this cleric skills of a thief. No one does that. No one. Absolutely no one. 618 okay i might be able to buy something just because um i think i'd make a fine teacher or a baker or a yeah they say you hear that lady should make a fine teacher apparently all right, all right. anything I, I mean nobody here uses short swords that's the problem okay follows guide to Baldur's gate i might keep on that That's the that's the book that I've read. High cliff, leather boots, no need. Hand axe, do I need that dagger? Goes. This curious book also goes. I don't need a you know secret uh, wine hiding uh, book, even though it it's, it sounds interesting. I don't necessarily need it. Do you have the cash for it? It looks like you do. Um. 61. You should be able to buy some of these. I'm not gonna sell you the. Okay. No, I'm not gonna sell you the spider egg either. <laughs> nah, not gonna happen. Alright, leave. Let me see. Can I use this anvil now? I can't use the anvil. I cannot use the anvil. Unbelievable. I can't craft what I wanted to craft. All right, so you guys should stop talking over each other. Let's see what this guy has to say. We should have left by now. Damnation. Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The thieflings need your help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded fall we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. 
This place is lost. We're exposed now. Hold on. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Let's see. Wizard. I've heard he's quite the scoundrel. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. All of a sudden, his attitude changed. We're exposed now. So, interestingly, uh, this guy is dead. Let's, let's try to go over here and talk to this lady. I mean, I can't see them, but... I know they're there because of their outline. Hmm. So you could technically get out of here from... Ooh, nice. I've just noticed something, right? You could, like... Dude, no, just come here, come here. Just jump over here, for Christ's sake. I do believe I've been there. Let's check the rotten basket. Nothing there. Alright, let's jump over there as well. Now, you, you, you and Shadowheart both. She just went there. Oh, look, an explosive mushroom. I'm just going to stay right next to it and step on it. Christ. Hey, I'm hearing some stuff. All right, the pouch is empty. So time to go. Oh, I can't reach it. All right, well, Shadowheart's gonna reach it. And you're probably gonna be able to jump by yourself because you're in the party. Check that out. Astarian, even you. That's the trick with these guys. You can actually, um... Let's see. Just to avoid walking back and doing all the talk, I'm dropping a quick save, right? Stop! This place is off limits. Leave. Insight, intimidation, deception, persuasion. Yeah, let's try persuasion. Let's try to see what was. Uh, what's her problem? I'm here to help. Ooh, not twenty. Damn it! Was inventory today? I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. Need a hand up? I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! Where'd you get this potion? From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. <sighs> Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. All right, strong brews sometimes have lasting effects. You should prepare for the worst. Yeah, let's do that. What? No, no, she, she said it wouldn't be permanent. It can't be. It'll wear off soon. It has to. Come on, just move. It's okay. Shadow Heart has healing word, which you... should remove it. I've got a long road ahead. Let's talk to her again. Any goblin comes near me now, and they'll regret it. I feel amazing. Look, you're not really supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Mm. 
What did she do? Regain hit points. Fair enough. All right, well, uh, time to get out, so Azel, do your thing. Can you? I think everyone else can as well. Oh, there we go. Look at them jumping. Look at them jumping. Following. I mean, it's the strength, right? You need strength to be able to do a jump, a proper jump. So, uh, having good strength is needed in party. You need at least one proper good strength member is, is what my, uh, what my, uh, suggestion would be. Ooh, we've, we've, uh, moved a long way and we've come to the point where it's 25 minutes and I think, um, I think we should, uh, call it for now. I'll go back to the city in the next episode, or before that, if I need to sweep the the area around. Right. But otherwise, shh, hey, 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 I'm I'm talking, I'm talking. Um, otherwise, I think we're pretty much done for today. We've done quite a bit. We've uh, looked around. We've uh, interrupted someone's uh, special hour. <laughs> if you know what area I'm talking about. Otherwise, uh, it was a pretty productive uh, episode today well as i said that's it for today thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate it don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it if you didn't like it you may hit the dislike button but you do know that the numbers aren't gonna show so do as you may if you want you can just leave a comment and tell me what you didn't like and don't forget to hit that bell icon Hit that like uh, the subscribe button, like button you already hit, I assume. And I will see you around. Cheers. Mm -hmm.